Welcome back guys and today we are going to talk about new Inno Silicon Miner and this new ASIC Miner is called A9Z Master and this miner will be used for Equihash Mining and it can do 50,000 solutions per second at 620 watts and this will be the best Equihash Miner in the world because it is few times better than any other miner from the competition so it is not like 10, 20, 30 percent better, it is actually hundreds of percentages better than any other miner on the market. And with coming of this new Equihash miner that can do 50,000 solutions per second, I believe that Equihash will be dead on GPUs. Because this one miner can do more than the whole GPU mining farm can do on Equihash. Of course the price is really high, the price for this miner is at $10,000, you can see it right here. And it has 6 kilograms and you can see all of this data over here and the link is down in the description. So we will lose Equihash but we will still have Lira 2 Revision 2 and new script for GPUs using NiceHash. But if you will just use some other software you will be able to mine on many different algorithms that are still not on the ASIC mining machines. So let's take a look at Equihash profitability. This is on a 180 Ti and you can see that Equihash is still a little bit profitable. You can get 27,000 Satoshis per one day. But if you compare that even to Lira 2Z, which was added just recently, Lira 2Z does 28,000 Satoshis per day. So Equihash mining is almost uh, less profitable than anything else on Nice hash, you can see that with new script you get 28,000 and with Lira 2 revision 2 you get 43,000 Satoshis per second. And even Ketsuk gets 21,000 Satoshis. So Equihash mining is slowly dying, but with this new miner uh, A9 Master it is all done. Uh, when they produce thousands of those miners, uh, you will not be able to compete with the difficulty that will increase for Equihash and the profits will go down even further than the, they are just right now. So with the first batch of those miners, you can see over here that they will sell only 300 of those miners and they will start shipping them on June 25th. And they are actually rushing this production just because they want to beat Bitmain with the best Equihash miner in the world. So let's see how much can you make with 50,000 solutions, solutions per second on Equihash mining. So you can see that 180 Ti gets 685 uh, solutions per second on Equihash and this miner gets 50,000. So let's just enter 50,000 right here and let's enter power consumption at 620 watts so it matches the power consumption. Uh, power cost is 0.1 dollars per kilowatt hour and let's just press calculate. So you can see that this new miner will get $150 mining Z Classic, $153 mining Zen Cash, Bitcoin Gold $157, and mining on NiceH, if you just connect it to NiceH, you will get $148 per day. And after the electricity, which is only $2 per day, you will get $146 per day. So this miner does cost $10,000 but you can make all of that money back in just a few months, maybe like 2-3 months, depends on the difficulty increase, it might even take you up to 4 months, but this is still better than any other GP on the market with return on the investment, because almost every single GP that you can buy right now has more than 1 year return on investment, and with this new miner with only 4 months it is really great investment. But it depends how much competition they will get from Bitmain and other producers of ASIC miners. But as it looks like they really did struggle gold with this miner since they are five times better and more efficient than any, any other Equihash miner on the market. So let me know what are you going to mine now when Equihash mining dies and you have only Lira 2, Revision 2 and NimScript on NiceHash. Are going to take a look at some other software that supports uh, more diversified algorithms, maybe something like Awesome Miner or maybe MinerGate or whatever you want to use. And see you soon in another video. Bye.